So what is up guys, and today I'm gonna teach you how to do 3D typography in After Effects. But before we get started, I do wanna tell you that I did just make my first ever editing pack, so have a look. As you saw in the video, my editing pack includes a lot of cool stuff that can help you when you edit and it also supports me. So I would appreciate it if you check it out, the link is in the description. And now let's get started with the tutorial. So first of all, make sure you have your clips ready and make sure you mark where like the words start so you know when to like move the camera. So now make sure you have motion blur turned on. So just click on the boxes right here, then go to the side and press on you then go down to camera and then you can mess around with the setting I just keep it like so then just cut it to the size of your clip the next thing you will need to do is add a null layer so you can either again go to new and press on null object or you can press ctrl shift alt y and you'll add a null layer cut it to the size of the clip again and then duplicate it depends how many times you want a movement to happen so on this clip I'll do four null layers one for each movement then just make sure you turn on the 3d on all the nulls and the layers like so after making all your layers 3d what you will need to do is take your camera and link it to your first null and then your first null to the second one and so on then think how you want the movement to happen so on the first one because I did like transition here to the side and a zoom out I want like the first one to be from a zoom in position to the side to make it happen basically just press P on your first null layer to get the position keyframe then press on it and make sure you put this keyframe a bit after where you want the second movement to happen then just move it where you want it to be at the start so for me I want it to be on Tanjiro also when you do the movement make sure for zooming in and out you don't use the scale you actually use the z value then move the second keyframe to where you want the transition to end when you are done with this one just select both of your keyframes press f9 to easy ease and go to your graph editor we'll actually graph it with the speed graph so make sure you right click and then press on edit speed graph and then just graph it like mine for the first transition if it's a bit slow you can also move this keyframe a little bit so now you keyframe the position on the second layer about in the middle between the first marker to the second one and then also put the second keyframe close to the last marker then move it where you want it to be and then select both of your keyframes press f9 to easy ease and go to your graph editor and this time where you want the, uh, the movement to happen so where you put the marker move the graph in a way that the highest point will be where the marker is so there you go you have the second movement now we'll go to the third one so basically the same thing as the second one but we'll put it on the third null layer this time we'll put it between the two markers in the middle and then the this the second keyframe we'll put like close to the fourth one then move it where you want it to be and there you go and then just graph it like how we did with the last one Now we just want the last transition so this one will start a little bit before the second to last marker then we'll keyframe the position again and we'll move it where we want it to be then this one make sure we put the keyframe outside of the clip then graph it kind of like how we did with the first graph but the opposite side like so in my opinion it's a bit slow so I will actually move it a little bit to the right and there you go we have all the movements ready and now obviously the last thing we need to add to make it 3D typo is the actual text so to do that the first thing you will need to do is actually add just normal text so choose font you want and the size and all these settings just change them depends on how you would like the text to look then just type whatever you want the text to be so there you go I have all the text that I need then just cut them to the side of the clip then obviously because we want the text to be 3d what you do need to do is make a, a black solid so you can either go here and 
U and then solid or you can just press ctrl y and there we go press ok cut it to the size of the clip then duplicate it to the same amount of text that you need so i need three text so i'll make three solids uh, you can turn off the text and then just go to your first solid and search in your effects element then double click to apply it now we still don't see anything because what we actually need to do is go to custom layers custom text and mask then where it says path layer one choose your text then go to setup scene press on extrude and there you go you can see your text obviously it looks blend and it's just white so to change it you can just go to Pavel physical there's like a lot of presets here that you can choose from for this i'm just gonna choose this one um you can also customize it by going to environment you can change like the reflection for it and also you can change each of the materials but to make this tutorial short i'm just gonna choose this one and there we go we have our text here and as you can see it already moves with the camera now to change the position and the size you basically go to group one and then you go to this one then here you can change the positioning and here change the size then just move it where you want it to be so there you go we have that one now it still doesn't look good because it doesn't have any animation to it so to animate it you basically go to particle look um, under group one then multi object then enable multi object this might look like a lot but don't worry it's actually pretty simple there's a lot of options here to to animate it the ones i use the most is displace which basically just makes the the text further and closer apart and the rotation which basically just rotates the text randomly so for this animation i'm actually going to make the text really close together at the start by changing the display then keyframe it and the rotation just choose like one of the sides it doesn't really matter much press u to see your keyframes then just go to like where you want the animation to stop and then just move the rotation then just select both of them and then go to your graph editor and just keyframe them And then we go we have our first animation also make sure you have motion blur turned on the last thing i would like to do to make it look even better is search on effects and presets or an effect called shine and then double click it it is a plugin so just make sure you download it then go to colorize and you can like change it like there's all presets for cool colors for this clip i want to keep it clean so i don't want it to be with any colors just select none then uh, you can play around with the ray but on this one i don't really want it because don't really like how the ray looks here and i just want to keep it simple so i'm just gonna change the ray length to zero so you can see and now for the second one we will basically do the same thing to make it easy you can even just press on this effects press ctrl a to select all the effects you put on this solid and then just press ctrl v and paste it on the second solid now obviously we do want the second solid to be different text so go back to custom layers and then select the second text and just move it where you want the position vote for the second text to be and there we go we have our second text now obviously it looks weird because you can basically see the text the whole time right here so to change that what i do is i cut the solid when i want it to start but obviously it still doesn't look good because it just like teleports there to change that what you can basically do is just keep the opacity at 100 like a couple of frames forward and then on the first one then just graph it like so so yeah now that we have the animation for the second text to do is to make the animation for the last one we can again just copy the effects to the last solid and we need to change the text again and then change the position then we'll just animate it again So that's basically how you make 3D typography on After Effects. I hope you learned something and I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, make sure to write in the comments what other tutorials you want and see ya guys.